Welcome. Welcome to our live demonstration of the 8905. We are just standing in front of the first sample we got for the United States. I'm Christoph Kandel, I'm segment manager with water in the United States. And I will tell you some details about the system concerning the concept, the use, installation options, startup, maintenance and so on. All right, so let's have a look. The concept. The Burkhardt Online Analysis System 8905 is an analytical system for water quality monitoring, mainly for drinking water applications, but you also can use it for process water if the water is quite clean. It's a modular system in a very super compact housing. Modular means for us we can combine different sensors, we have different kind of electronic in this box. Um, we call it EDIP. It's an internal name from Burkhardt. And the sensors, what we are offering for the moment is pH, ORP, conductivity, but also turbidity and chlorine. In the future we will also have additional sensors like TOC 254, iron, hardness and so on. But this is a little bit future. And um, it's quite an easy way to open the box, taking out, yes, they are modules, taking out the different kind of sensors in this case i have a ph sensor in my hand you also can replace the reference system by dislocking a mechanical lock take it out replace it put it back and then you just put it back and we are good to go again Let's talk about a little bit about installation. Installation is quite an easy thing. The first step what you need to do is you need to use your stainless steel holder. You mount the stainless steel holder to the wall and then you take this box, just plug it into, plug it into the wall and you are done. Then it's at the wall. The next thing what you need to do, you need to connect the samples um, which you want to measure. And there you just take a piece of tube coming from the main process, going into a bypass, put it in, go through the system. And then you have on the outside, you have the same tube, you go take the tube put it into, um, into the waste and then you are set. So what else you need to care? You should care about the maximum pressure of 77 PSI. This is quite an easy thing. And you need to care a little bit about the flow rate, uh, what you need. Each sensor needs about a flow rate of 0.8 gallons per hour so this is really not a lot and when we have a look at this box for example this means this is about four gallons per hour what's next starting up the system okay in this case we have started up it's more or less just to power it up so put on your 24 volt or 110 or 230 volt power supply the system is starting up automatically all the startup including detecting the sensors is going automatically so you just need to stand next to it and wait till it's done which is quite done within a few seconds okay what's next next we talk about the configuration and the parameter settings if you have a look at the main 
screen you see at the beginning this is the let's say this is the basic screen you find you find on the left side all the cubes which are connected or all the sensors which are connected on the right side you find soft keys so you can as we have a touch screen you select what what you want to have and based on that you can make settings for the sensors once you have done that for example including calibration function you are doing this with this surface once you have done that you can define additional fuse in this case we have prepared a few what you can see here is a little bit a picture of the of the let's say um, of the plant and then you can define which values you want to see and you can move also these values into different positions once you have done that just put save or save and exit and then everything is done it's saved and we, we are good to go in addition of course you can add additional views in this case I have added two different kind of views including a graph let's just add another one so we go to enable edit mode I want to have a new desk new desktop let's choose the value widget okay so that's fine up to now you don't see anything so you need to add values let's just make one as having an example okay choose the turbidity then let's go through it and here we go so you want to change the size also easy if I want to have a full screen then I want to have a full screen and then it looks like that all right so with this kind of things you can do your parameter settings of course if you have additional outputs like Ethernet like 4 to 20 and so on of course you also need to make the parameter settings with them in this case I don't have that so I cannot do anything anymore we are done with the parameter setting next point next point is topic calibration calibration of this kind of sensors what we are using as you know pH RP, turbidity, chlorine, and also sometimes conductivity needs to be calibrated. How can you do that? Well, one way to do it, it's, it's just to take a sample and then um, analyze the sample with a separate unit. Once you have all the values, you go into the parameter setting menu in a different in the different view so and then you can make the parameter setting or the calibration in this view and once this is done you are we are good to go another way another way is just add reference liquids through a bypass system and do it in the same way for example with pH with pH 4 pH 7 pH 10 whatever or you need you use the Burkhardt calibrator so you take out your cube just demonstrate that take it out 
put it onto your calibrator. The calibrator detects automatically which sensor you have and is telling you what to do, which kind of cap capsules you should need to put in for the calibration. And once this is done, everything is saved on the sensor. You just take the sensor, put it back into the system and everything is set. All the values are taken over from the electronic automatically. You can close the box and you're good to go. What else? Cleaning. As drinking water is quite clean, it's not necessary to do that quite often. But if you need to do it, you can use um, quite see a, uh, common CRP solutions, flush the system and then you are clean. Another thing of course is each sensor could be disassembled and cleaned separately. This is also quite easy to realize. Um, a lot of parts you can replace. So also this one quite an easy, an easy way to go. Replacement. Um, some sensors do have reference solutions like ORP, like PH, which could run out. If so, this is quite easy. Let's open it again. Let's take out the PH sensor again, having a look. At this side, here we find the reference system. We open that turn it around, take it out, put in a new, a new one, close it, put it back. And again we are good to go. Also you could change some of uh, the sensor chips, but this is something what you normally don't need to do because the sensor chips don't change their behavior. So far so good. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, just let me know.